hello and uh, welcome in this video I'm going to show you how uh, you can mask clouds shadows and other unwanted areas from satellite image before you uh, classify your uh, satellite image so for shadows and cloud masking in fact the first thing that you need to have is your uh, cloudy image you know for example i have this satellite image but before i uh, go on with my uh, classification process i found out that uh, you know significant you know portion of the image is covered by shadows and clouds okay so if i leave this and continue with my image classification i will you know end up with spectral confusion so i have to remove the clouds okay and the shadows from my satellite image okay so for that we have to first develop the vector layer that can delineate these clouds and shadows so create a feature or a vector layer for the unwanted area okay for creating vector layer go to this drawing tool if you don't find this drawing uh, tool you can access it by uh, right clicking on this and click on draw so in my case it's already active so once you have that so you can go to this and click on that uh, click on polygon so once you have that tool you can start digitizing okay so you can zoom in the satellite image to make it uh, visible and to make your digitization process very easy you can enlarge your satellite image okay then keep on digitizing the clouds and uh, uh, shadows so here i have another clouds and shadows here also i have another one Here also I have another area covered by clouds and shadow. Uh, here also I have another one. And I also digitize here. So as much as possible try to uh, identify areas affected by clouds okay otherwise it will create uh, some kind of uh, misclassification in your uh, area okay so to avoid that digitizing and masking out uh, unwanted areas is a very crucial step So, for example, this is a cloud and this is a shadow. So I have to, you know, 
be very much exhaustive in identifying the clouds and the shadows. So you'll get uh, a lot of experiences. So once you are well aware of the characteristics of the clouds, okay? So here is the cloud and here is a shadow. So for the time being, let's, you know, let's finish. Okay, this is the vector layer uh, developed for masking clouds and shadows. So now let me uh, select the whole layer to convert it into one uh, vector layer. So select it and right click on it and group it. Okay. Once you have uh, dropped it, go to Drawing and you'll find Convert Graphics to Feature Tool and give a name, output name. So I'll call it Mask Layer. Okay, it is a vector layer. Okay, now that's it. So I have a developed vector layer for the clouds. Okay, now I can convert this mask layer into raster layer. Okay, before I convert the raster layer, it needs some uh, value uh, field on which the conversion tool operates. So open the attribute field, create a field which is called value. It can be short integer, it doesn't matter. So now it, we, I have a zero uh, value. So go to conversion tool to raster from polygon and input layer is your mask layer, your vector layer. And the field is the field that we created earlier, that is value. And the cell value should be uh, 10 meter equivalent to the original raster layer and give a name for this under, uh, under test. So I may call it mask layer, okay? Mask.tif, okay? That's it, I click OK. So this procedure uh, is creating some kind of uh, raster mask layer like this, okay? The reason why I am converting the vector layer to raster layer is since the original data that I am processing is raster layer already. So the mask input should also be uh, raster layer. Okay. So the masking operation is going to be uh, performed in spatial analysis, analysis tool, and map algebra raster calculator. I'm going to use this raster calculator. So both of my inputs needs to be a raster data set. So I do have four bands for, I mean, to be processed. So I need to open this tool in the form of batch processing tool. Open batch processing tool. Okay. So I need four input rows. One, two, three. Okay, open this in order to open the algebraic expression. Okay, open it. Now, what I have to do is uh, write the statement of the mask layer. Okay, masking operation will be performed by a combination of different different uh, tool. Okay. Masking a satellite image can be performed through a combination of set null, boolean not, and is null operation. So you could write this in that uh, specific uh, layer. Okay. So let's write this. So set null. So it has two before comma and after comma. You will put after comma the original raster layer, suppose it is band 8, okay? 
but before comma you need to write boolean not and is null okay is null here is is null inside the bracket of is null you should write the erase layer okay the mask layer okay you click mask layer we are finished now so we click ok now give the output name for this where shall we put the output for all masked layers we can create our own new folder masked layers okay under mask layer it should be band 8 and this is masked so tif that's it okay now i should populate the same expression for each row okay i should fill it but i, I have to change the name of the output this is the output name for band four and this is band three and this is the output name for band two i should also check the expression of for each band this is the same expression but a changed band with four band four same expression different band band three same expression different band, band two now in one go you can run this operation okay now we have finished it but one thing is left that is limiting the processing extent for this batch processing operation you go to environment processing extent uh, now the extent should be uh, same as band 8 okay that's it now we can click okay Okay, now we have the masked out uh, layers. So we need to see the output. Okay. So let's have a look at the output of the masked image. So open all of the image and make a composite image. So go to Windows, Image Analyst select all of the, the layers of the, the, that are masked out already now click this create a composite layer for each one. now select this and save to hmm, masked out image okay this is 10 meters then
very good now uh, it is uh, it's already completed so let us open the processed image and compare it with the original uh, layer okay now you see this is the masked out image okay so the clouds and shadows are already masked out now it is clean you can start your uh, processing okay so you can start your uh, image classification now this is a masked out this is the original image okay now let's continue to our next uh, lab session that is unsupervised image uh, classification so you see the masking operation on raster layer can be successfully you know operated by a set of tools okay you can follow batch processing for masking operation and the result is 